almost in the last minute. Okay, now I will take the third bearing. <coughs> now, so now the contact is 281 degrees. Okay, so I have 360 minus 281, 79 degrees on my left side. I take the protector and I'm going until I have 79 degrees on my left side. Here. Here. Okay, 79, you see? I take the ruler. I do the same like I did before. Okay. From here to my U-boat. Okay, now I will take the uh, the compass and I will draw a line from here you see until here like I did for the first bearing I told you we need this for the first and the third bearing okay and I will move this one because I'll move the protractor here okay perfect so what I'll do now I will take a mark and I will put on this is the second bearing here in okay so I'll put a mark or uh, on the random position is not important where on this line so let's put the mark here for example okay it's not important so let's put here this is the mark one on the second bearing okay now what I'll do I will take a parallel line with the first bearing which is this one you see they are parallel and I will put uh, to intersect the mark one so I will just <laughs> track this is because of that I did it. I did uh, with the compass on the first and the third and I put this one here you see now I will take uh, another um, come on I will take another line which is parallel with the third bearing this one from here and I'll put in the same mark number one to intersect the same and this one is parallel to it uh, third bearing so I just make two parallel lines of uh, bearing one and bearing three and I put to cross this uh, mark one on the bearing two okay right now what I have I have this I, I take the marker and this one is intersected the bearing one in this point this line okay so I will mark here mark number two and the other one is intersected the this is the uh, bearing two in this point here so I will just mark here mark number three okay perfect so I will just erase those things that I don't need okay and now I will take the protector and I will draw a line from mark 2 until mark 1 and this will be the ship heading ok so if I'm going here I can see it's almost uh, 98.99 ok something like that ok so let's see here 98 uh, past a little bit 98 okay so I'm going here and let's hear 98 we okay, so like here I see perfect let's see here ah, we are pretty close perfect so now this is the ship heading what I'll do I'll take a mark and I'll mark here this is the ship heading okay so I'll take this m mark and I'll mark here with mark number four okay mark number four in meantime 
so I I know the ship is heading like this, but I don't know if the ship is go it's here or here or here. You see, I don't know that. So uh, I need to find the four bearing, and uh, I need to move until then my U boat. So I'll take a protector, and here is my uh, position of the U boat. Okay. So if the ship line is like this, can be here or here. I just I want to intercept the ship somewhere like maybe here, okay? So, you see, here is 90 degree, okay? So I will choose to run 90 degree, okay? So I will go here and I will order the heading 90. If I order 91, he will put 90, it's like this one degree more all the time. No, yeah, so I drag my Nine. Nine. And I order flank speed. By the machine, AK voraus. And I order surface the boat. Klar, machen zum Auftauchen. Auftauchen, da oben. Okay. Draw a 
My crew is doing. Hi guys, hello, how are you? And bad news of sight. Why? Bad gemacht. Because, as you can see, we have have foggy, so I cannot see nothing. I I see only. Die Wetterlage verschlechtert sich. So, I have no chance to hunt this uh, ship by, uh, by uh, visual. So, I have to choose. I follow this ship only. I will have better uh, weather, no fog, or I can uh, try to hunt this ship only by uh, by uh, by hydrophone. I will hunt by hydrophone. I will try to do that. Uh, you will cannot see because I cannot use the external camera. I see. If I click here, no, no, here, yes, it's okay, but this one, no, this one, no, this one, no, this one, see, no, no. So, as you can see, I play realistic 100%. So, uh, but uh, I, I will show you, you can hear my uh, my torpedoes with the hydro, and we will have sound if I uh, my ship lock. We, we can verify like this, okay. So, I decided to, to hunt by Hydro. So, because of that, I'm going here. And uh, I'll go navigation map and I will choose my torpedo. Okay? So, I will, I must to be around when the uh, this line here is 30, I must to be completely stopped, submerged and try to intercept the, sp the ship again, so it's very important that, don't forget, okay? So, <coughs> I go here on the map, uh, I go show map of the else, I will use torpedo 1, torpedo 3 and torpedo 4, I don't flood my tubes now, so I hope they, I'll, I will not forget <laughs> to flood after, so... <coughs> If I will have no visual with the ship, I don't know which kind of ship will be, so I don't know his draft. So uh, I will choose the draft to be around 2.5 2 meters, 3 meters, because I'm sure like this, all the ship draft is minimum maybe 2.5 2 meters, okay? The destroyer is 2.5, so the commercial is something like that. So I'll go first torpedo. I will choose to be fast. Torpedo that. 2.7 impact because I want to shoot 90 degree. Uh, as you can see here, my tube 1, 3, and 4. I don't use this one because it's electric. Okay, so the speed is different. I cannot use the same speed in torpedo. Now the tube number 3. I can, I can put the torpedo to be like. Uh, near the surface because uh, they cannot spot my torpedoes I'm sure because they have fog so they have the same difficulty water like I have okay so I'll put here uh, fast I and I Steve. give magnetic this one and this one I go again few meters almost okay fast I impact okay perfect right now, right now I will use a little bit of time compression <coughs> 